President Biden just gave an hour-long press conference with no notes, no teleprompter. <laughs> no notes, no teleprompter, no knowledge of the questions beforehand. With that, I'll take your questions. I've been given a list of people to call on here. I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be vice president, but I think she was not qualified to be president. I love my staff, but they add things. They add things all the time. The very end. I'm catching hell from my wife for that. Anyway, I'm following the advice of my commander in chief, my, 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 of the chief of staff of the military, as well as the secretary of defense and our intelligence people, where the access to that market was enticing enough to get companies to come in because they had access to over a billion people in the mar a, a market, not a billion, but a lot of people in the market. And, so they were doing it. We're sitting around. This is where Kamala is so good as well. We're sitting around. More children are killed with a, by a bullet than any other cause of death. The United States of America. What the hell are we doing? What are we doing? You earlier explained confidence in your vice president. Yes. If your team came back and showed you data that she would fare better against former President Donald Trump, would you reconsider your decision to stay in the race? No, unless they came back and said, there's no way you can win. Me. No one's saying that. No poll says that. Okay. Thank you. This, this ends tonight. Thanks, everybody. Trump replied immediately, Trump Joe began his big boy press conference with, I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be Vice President, though I think she was not qualified to be President. Great job, Joe. Joe Fireback, by the way, yes, I know the difference. One is a prosecutor and the other is a felon. That is Joe replying to Trump. A lot happened during this press conference and I decided to do this video so to highlight some things you have not seen. A lot of people, Democrats, are now coming out to say this man should not run. After this press conference, according to this tweet, moment after being pressed and the top Democrat on House Intelligence calls on Biden to step aside, about 14 of them right now uh, saying Biden should go. He can't do the job. You can just imagine what exactly is going on. Now going to this clip. He was obviously exhausted and then faded towards the end, fighting for his political survival against Barack Obama, the Clintons, the media, the donors, half of his political party, but says he's in it to win it and began by backing NATO and then claiming that inflation and illegal immigration is down and also promising to get a ceasefire going in Gaza. Then he began this press conference by confusing Kamala for Trump. Watch. What concerns do you have about Vice President Harris's ability to beat Donald Trump if she were at the top of the ticket? Look, I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be vice president, but I think she was not qualified to be president. Okay, so that was obviously the question at the very end that you just saw, the follow-up. Donald Trump already capitalizing politically on that major gaffe. There were several gaffes throughout that press conference, constantly interrupting himself and just saying, anyway, losing his train of thought multiple times. He was asked about his light schedule and the fact that he doesn't really keep hours after four, sometimes eight o'clock in the evening. He said this was because he needs to pace himself better and then blamed his staff. Listen. Presidency is the most straining job in the world, and it's 24-7. How can you say you'll be up for that next year, in two years, in four years, given the limits you've acknowledged that you have today? The limits I've acknowledged I have? There's been reporting that you've acknowledged that you need to go to bed earlier and your evening around 8. That's not true. Look, <laughs> what I said was, instead of my every day starting at 7 and going to bed at midnight, it'd be smarter for me to pace myself a little more. And I said, for example, the 8, 7, 6 stuff, 
Instead of starting a fundraiser at 9 o'clock, start at 8 o'clock. People get to go home by 10 o'clock. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, before we proceed, are American people supposed to believe he's running the country? The either thing American people are doomed, naive, or distracted. When you look at the faces of people when he said this, even top people in his administrations, they were frustrated. They were like, what is this again? I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be Vice President. Do I think she was not qualified to be president? So let's start there. Number one, the fact is that <clears throat> the consideration. The guy that we just saw for the last hour is definitely not someone who is considering leaving the race. He cited the polls showing that there's no, no data that he's seen that says that he can't win. He was very praiseworthy of Kamala Harris, of Vice President Harris, as he should be, and said some really warm and good things about her. But he also said, even though that he believes that she is clearly qualified to be president and that's why he chose her, even if someone showed him data that showed that she did better than him, unless he sees data that he can't win, this doesn't sound right. like a man that's thinking about getting out. You know, you make a really important point, Chris, that I think we can't over we can't say frequently enough um, as Democrats and people who want Donald Trump to be prevented uh, from returning to the White House sort of anguish over this decision, which is that there is not perfect information about the future. And the argument that President Biden is best positioned to beat Donald Trump is an argument. There are other arguments that are also data based that other people might have a better shot at it. Yes. What is for with some of these people still coming out to say everything was okay. They want to ignore some of the short videos I played here. They don't want you to actually even see that. Which is a problem to Democrats for a very long time. When they see the truth, what is going on, they will put that aside and focus on something different. They have been doing it for a very long time. Had it been, they called this situation out ever since, we would know. When we point out that, oh, this happened, they will say it was a lie. Or oh, this happened, they, you know, Democrats have been doing this for a very long time. Now take a look at what is happening with Biden here. A lot of gaffers, she came out. Just when they talk, he could stand up, you know, and defend himself. But a lot is still going on. At this point, where can these people even start? Because I'm confused. I want you to know your talk. Looking at the press conference, is it really good the way they talk? Who will you be voting for in 2024, Daryl? Do I have to say his name? I don't want to, but more than likely it's going to be Trump. Yeah. 